Okay, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII, where you uh, join me trying to steal an item from one of these dragons. I don't know what they're called. Just, just, uh, I need to cure myself first, though. Uh, a dragon. Okay, fine. Let's try and steal from him. Because if I'm not mistaken, yes, gold armlets, and I'm very surprised that uh, that dropped first try. Very awesome. So now we can just kill him. Um, I wouldn't mind stealing more of them, but these dragons do seem to be quite rare. I've been running around for about 20 minutes and only just ran into one, so... Probably just gonna give that to maybe Cloud and then uh, be on our way. I also need to uh, mess around with my materia a little bit, possibly. Before we do, because uh, there's a nice combination of um, counter materia and counter attack. Uh, sorry, counter attack and cover materia. Thank you to Deathwish Kunai, I think that's your name, who uh, reminded me of that very handy little tip. Now let's see. So he has counter attack. Now I'm gonna get rid of Ifrit, and I'm gonna give him. Where is it? Cover. Yes. So, um, he will cover. You know, take more damage for other allies, and obviously because he's gonna be countering, the the chance of him countering an attack is massively increased. So it's all good, as they say. Um, I am slightly higher level than last time because I've been running around trying to find those dragons, so couldn't help but level up. But um, that's not a bad thing, you know. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how powerful we are right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's proceed to the end of this area. He says, hopefully, we can't be that far off now. It's always a bit weird that you, you go from that screen which makes you feel like you're really like still deep in the mountain somewhere to oh we're back outside on the world map already which is nice bit of greenery because that that area can be quite depressing it's a bit dull i wouldn't want to live near there um now our next port of call if you will should be Somewhere nearby. Aha! Now, I've always liked this place. Um, the reason is... Oh, hello! Wait a minute, are these the same? No, these are different. They look similar. Velka Task? Some weird names. Velcha? Velka? I don't know. I'd be willing to bet they don't like Aqualung, though. Nothing seems to. I haven't even equipped my bloody gold armlet yet. Silly. Now the XP was really good in uh, Mount Nibble as well. Compared to uh, out here at least. Alright. Cloud, my boy. You're getting upgraded to... A gold. Look at that defense though. That's pretty good. And uh, more paired slots, which is nice. Um, so yeah, and I know I've not really been using many double uh, growth weapons or armor. But I just prefer to have more paired materia, more slots, and slightly better stats at this stage anyway. Later on, I will be focusing more on just leveling materia in certain places. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, without further ado, let's enter the town. What's that? That is, uh... That looks like a rocket. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's funny. If, I, if there was a town here, and it had a giant rocket in it, I'd call it Rocket Town. That's what I'd do. But hey, you know, the game doesn't usually listen to me. 
Better ask the captain about this town. He is, uh, he's the one in charge of it, Captain. Did you see the man in the black cape? Nope, don't know a thing about it. Who's the captain? Oh. It was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away. Ah. Maybe we'll uh, speak to this captain. Everyone in this town was a mechanic back when they were planning to launch the rocket. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's go in the weapon shop. I don't know why I've, I've always liked this place. I mean, I like rockets, it's cool and all, but... Just the general vibe of this place. Ah, okay. That's a new weapon for Vince. Oh, we can buy gold armlets here. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> We've saved ourselves about, what, 2,000 gil? Big whoop. Alright, well, I'm gonna buy a few more of them. Power wrist. Uh, I don't really need that. Magic plus 10, that would be nice. Hmm. I might actually just buy one of them. And. Shotgun, is that gonna be any good, really? Because I do like what we've got at the moment, having 255% accuracy. Hmm. I'll leave that for now. Right, uh, there's tons of what look like antique guns. I bet the owner of this store was a real gun fanatic. Probably, since the only weapon he sold was a gun. Okay, nothing else going on here. So, as usual, we enter a town. We need to relieve its occupants of their uh, carelessly left about items. I'm sure there will be a few. A drink will ease your heart. Beans, beans, the more you eat. Yeah, you know, you know where I'm going. You know what I'm saying. Um, beans are good for your heart, the more you eat. Or your fart is the song, in case you didn't know. Would you like to, something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative. Well, we've only just got here. I don't know where the captain is. He could have told me, though. Oh! Occupado! Sorry. Is it real or fake? I don't know. I don't really care. So this is the inn. Are there any chests lying about? It's quite a big inn, actually. Usually they only have, like, three beds. This one's got feckin' six. And a bath. Ah, oh, luxury. Two baths! Damn. Rocket Town, you're just, you're awesome. You got a bar, you got frickin' baths. Shanghai Inn, was that? Uh, yeah, we'll rest. I need to remind myself to buy more tents as well, because I used up a few of them back in uh, old Nibbly Bibbly. Do, 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 do. Let's have a chat to some of these guys. That rusted out rocket's all that remains of the Shinra space program. Saying the same shit. Uh, who are you? This used to be Shinra base. That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. It just looms there. It's kind of sad, actually, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll take a look. It's a mighty impressive structure, although I'm sure it's seen better days. Well, that was nice. <laughs> I get so impressed every time I look at it. Is it a hobby? What, a hobby is looking at a rocket? <laughs> okay. A y what? A Yoshi Yogi! I have no idea what that is. Oh, well, you're kind of guilting me into using it now. What is it? Is it a weapon? Is it for cloud? Oh, it is! Ooh! Oh, it's got shit slots, though. Gosh darn it. You know, I'm tempted to equip the rune blade. I really am, but that's that's nice attack, but just no slots on it. It's pointless. Sorry, dude, I can't use it. Sword is used when an ally is down. 
Uh, I wonder if that increases its power when you've got KO'd at eyes. I wonder. Now, Runeblade. I'm wondering if I can rejig my materia, because surely I've not got, like, tons of sets of pair materia. I can definitely... Yeah, I can put my restore and my all onto my armor. Gonna take some rejigging. I mean, I, I know I can do this the other way, but screw it. Also, it's I've been told it's good to have as many all materia equipped as you possibly can, because if you master it, it sells for a lot of money. Um, but I don't know. i probably not going to get a chance at the moment. Alright, that's what I wanted, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we got the rune blade equipped. No, we don't. No, we don't. Yes, we have. I'm a dick. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so... I've spoken to you. Now, which house do I want to I want to go in this one? Uh, it's a shop. Right, let's buy some tents. Oh, material as well. We've got time. Exit. What does that do? I know barrier is going to be like you know you protect and you you know your, your magic barrier and all that stuff. But because we have big guard, I'm not exactly going to be rushing out and buying that. Um, which also makes me wonder why I bought time, because that does haste as well, doesn't it? Does Big Guard do haste? Might not do, actually. I can't remember what Big Guard. <laughs> I looked it up, like, not long ago, and I can't freaking remember. Anyway, let's buy some tents. Uh, Eleven will do. Exit. Do I want to buy that? Hmm. It's ten thousand. We can't afford it. I'm so stingy. How am I going to use it, though? Exit. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. And I bet I'm going to regret buying that, because it's probably not going to be that useful. Escape. Yeah. So you basically flee from battle. I should have guessed that. don't know what remove does, though. I don't remember that. Anyway, we've got it now. Oh, well. Um... Now, do I need to alter anyone else's? Don't think I do. No, I'm pretty happy with all that. Okay, so... Any items about? I haven't found a single chest yet. I'm getting a little bit worried. Is there anything to pick up? No, I want to leave. We ain't done in there yet, Cloud. Oh, lovely fireplace. Nice little lounge. Hello? Oh, so this is where he lives. Okay. That would make sense, because he stood, like, right outside it. Do, do, do. Can we go in here? What's up, dude? <laughs> um, I don't know, you could go look at the rocket. Seems to be all the rage. Oh, people are bored. Don't they work? Don't they have jobs? Just sit around all day? Do, 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 do. Now, which house do I want to go in? This one. Ah, uh, hang on. Is this where I think it is? Yeah. There's a chest, though. A drill arm. Okay, I'm guessing that's a close quarters weapon for Barrett, and I'm probably not going to use it. Double growth, though. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Now, can I give him anything? Yeah, he's only got two things paired, though, and one of them. Hmm. Actually. Oh, I kind of want that in his attack, though. You know what? I'm going to leave that for now. 
It's not that much better than his current one anyway. I know the double growth is nice, but... Like I said, I'm not going to worry about it too much. At the moment. Oh, tell you what, guys. I've had a really good day today. Uh, we took our dog, who... Um, he's a bit jittery around scissors and things, so you have, we have to take him to the vet to have him sort of dematted every, what, few months. So they knock him out with general anaesthetic and, you know, then they shave him and um, he's never too happy about it. But, um, he uh, he's usually a little bit, you know, zonked out when we pick him up from the vet and all that good stuff. And uh, he, he was a bit jittery today and uh, I had him on my lap in the back of the car. Actually, he was supposed to be on the bin liner on the back of the car seat, but he jumped up on top of me and he shat on me. Twice, it was brilliant. I, oh, just so, I love that little guy to bits, but it's not fun being shit on. It really isn't. Thankfully, it was pretty solid, you know, but um, not good, not happy. But he's okay now. He's 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 downstairs feeling sorry for himself. He's all wrapped up warm because he's gonna be freaking cold after all that fur has been shaved off him. So. So yeah, your day was probably better than mine in that respect. Can't imagine too many of you have been shit on today. Um, now this... This is where we're supposed to be going. Check out the rocket. Which of course, you can just go right up to it and climb it. Without anyone trying to stop you. But I suppose the Shinra have basically abandoned it so they wouldn't give a toss. It's not as if they ever cared about anyone's safety, is it? Can we get in there? Oh, I think I've missed speaking to someone. Okay, I know where I need to go. I'm getting ahead of myself. back into town. Not that house. I'm sure it's this one. If we go... Do we check out this? Look at this car, man. Is that a car? What looks to be an AK-47 just lying around. Interesting. Ah, right, yes. That's, my friends, is a little plane. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Let's steal it, is Barrett's first response. Oh, hello. Captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shera. I've always liked this character. She gets a... well... You'll see. You'll see. I always feel a bit sorry for her. Vincent, my op uh, occupation is... Forget it. He's one with words, is Vincent. Hmm? Really? What a coincidence. He's coming here? Just as we turn up? That's uh, that's amazing. God, it's almost as if it was written into a script that that would happen. I wonder if we can take him down. It's time for a rematch. Anyway, first we need to uh, see the captain, who is also one of my favourite characters. And another character that I do tend... Oh, I'm spoiling things. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Okay, let's go meet the guy first before I start gushing all over him. That sounded strangely sexual. I'm going to rephrase that before I start, you know, singing his praises. That's what I meant to say. So we should be able to go in here now. Yeah, the door's open. And here he is. And I love his theme as well. Oh, I love this music. This is Sid. Every Final Fantasy's got one. 
pretty much. And this is uh, this is Sevens, and he's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Let's uh, ask about the rocket, shall we? got messed up because of Shara. <laughs> That's why they became so anal. Hmm, <laughs> anal. So they just scrapped it. Guys, uh, is Sid ever gonna make it into space? Well, he's a bit, he's a bit down about it. So that's it. We can't do anything else. We, we can't ask him to take. We can't ask if we can take the Bronco. But we know the president's coming, so let's, uh, let's formulate a plan. So let's head back into town. See if we can talk to Shera again. I wonder if she'll elaborate on why. Why th Sid thinks she's uh, to blame. Do 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 do. But I really do like Sid, and I do tend to have him in my party, usually at the expense of Barrett. So I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. I'd like to play it a little bit differently, because I always use Sid. But he's just so cool, and I love his limit breaks as well. Anyway, let's uh, let's go back to the tiny Bronco. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Shera. Did he say... He said you're a great, great person, and he, he thinks you're amazing. Bloody pop-ups on my computer. Yeah, uh, no. Oh. Speak of the devil. He swears a lot as well. <laughs> oh, his famous line is coming as well. Oh, oh god. Get some tea, you fucking dick! I don't know what he's saying, but I just, you know, you gotta imagine. It's like with Barrett as well. They both, uh, they just... That's why I maybe always swap one for the other, because they're kind of similar in the, in the vocabulary. Um, really, don't mind us. I wouldn't mind some tea. <laughs> oh, Sid. Shut up, Sid, your ass down in that chair and drink your goddamn tea! Yes, sir. Damn, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed. Alright, so he's gonna go look at the plane. And Shara's gonna make us some tea. He's nice once you get to know him, I'm sure. I can imagine. <laughs> 